Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about all about worms. Of course, computer worms. What are the difference between a worm and a virus? What types of worms are there that you need to be aware of? And also with that, most important, how do you know if your PC is infected with a computer worm? Now, if you are looking for this information, then you'll get everything in this particular video. Now, as always, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up because I am creating these videos for you. So just to show a token of appreciation, please do like and comment and let me know all the different things that you would want me to create videos on. So without much ado, let's jump into it. This is Sonet from Tech It Written. Now, what is a computer worm? A computer worm is basically a malware whose primary function is to self-replicate. Now, it infects other computers without any human intervention. Computer worms infect your computers in two ways. Number one is via emails and number two is through the infected files over the internet. Now, computer worm is similar to a computer virus, but there is a slight difference that you need to be aware of. A computer worm is something that eats your system resources, while a computer virus is something that is made to modify the information that is stored in your computer or in your system. So what are the different types of computer worms that exist? Now, I'm going to discuss about five important computer worms that you need to be aware of. Those are as it comes right now on your screen. So the first one is the internet worms. So computer worms plague popular websites that are having, you know, weak security. So just imagine this, you are on a popular website and you access information on that website then this worm that is there in that website actually replicates back onto your system. And that's how this worm actually propagates from one system to another. So if your system gets infected and you are in a network, then this worm will now transfer over to all other systems that are there in that particular network. The next one is the email worms. So email worms spread through emails as the you know, term actually says. Now it actually travels through an attachment. So it propagates through that email attachment. And once your recipient opens that attachment, this worm replicates onto their system. The third one is the file sharing worms. So the worm copies itself on a shared folder or drive. Now, just imagine this. There are other people on that network who are accessing this particular shared folder and once they access any information from that shared folder, this worm then again replicates back into that system and it infects that system as well. So all those people or users who are there using that particular shared folder or drive will get infected with this worm. The next very important one is the crypto worms. So crypto worms are those which utilize strong encryption to gain access to a computer. And it can only be removed, unfortunately, through cryptographic tools. Now they demand money in exchange of a key that you can use to decrypt the files. And obviously when you're decrypting that file, these worms are sharing those information that are there in your computer and it is basically violating or you know tampering with the information that is there on your computer now instant messaging worms are those that reside on the chat server so if you are chatting with your friend or with another person on a, on any popular chatting platforms then this particular worm actually propagates to the other person through the instant messaging message. Now it piggybacks on the message like for example it could be the simple things like lol or maybe you know there's a surprise for you and then you click on that and then this worm actually infects your computer. Now since you now know about all the different types of worms it is very important also to know if your PC is infected with a worm. 
Now, there are specific symptoms that you can see on your PC that would indicate whether it's a war. Of course, there could be, you know, Trojans also or viruses also, but those are not part of this particular video because this video will then become very long. But these are the certain kinds of symptoms that you can actually look for. So the first one is unusual pop-up windows. So these are usually fake warnings that come up on your PC and you know it says that you know you are infected with a virus and you need to install an antivirus and then it asks you with a call to actions like OK, click OK and uh, you know those kind of informations it actually says. Just remember this, your windows, if you are using a licensed windows then your windows defender will never actually pop up those kind of messages. So just beware of this unusual pop-ups that actually come up. The next is the inability to connect to the internet. Now, if you are facing problems like, you know, you are not able to connect to your ISP, then probably the reason is that you are infected with a worm. Of course, your internet provider might have their servers down, so please first check that. But after that, if you see all the other users are able to access the internet but yourself, then it means that there is some kind of you know, worms that are existing in your computer. Additional items that are installed on your computer. Now, there could be situations or you know times when you open, you know, each day you open your computer or when you reboot your computer, you find certain things that are getting installed on the your computer. Now, those are some things that you have not installed, but they are actually coming up. It could be shortcuts to popular ads or it could be your desktop setting. You know, it's a, it's a shortcut to that or some kind of, you know, exe files or maybe some game. It will ask you to, you know, execute. So those kind of things beware of. If you are thinking that those are suspicious things you have not installed, then those could be worms and you need to take immediate action to actually get those worms removed. Now, if you're getting unusual messages before or after logging into popular websites like Facebook, Twitter, then probably you are infected with worms again. So what I mean by that is once or before you actually log on to your Facebook, you get a message stating that you need to be redirected to some other, you know, suspicious site or unpopular site which you are not aware of, then it is a probable reason that your PC is infected with a worm. Now look for open ports on your computer. Now if you find that there is a port forwarding system that is actually happening on your PC, it is a probable reason that there is worm on your system. So what it does is through that open port, it actually sends over that information from your system to the other you know, remote accessed you know, PC that is there. Of course, if you're having unexplained internet problems or network problems that could be another reason for a worm to be infected onto your computer and with that if you are having performance issues with your computer suddenly you find that your pc is filled up and your c drive is full it is showing red then it is a probable reason that it could be worms of course it could be a reason for trojans as well but it could be also a probable symptom of a worm so comment below and let me know which are the symptoms that you think that I have missed in this video that could be a possible symptom of a worm being infected onto your computer. Now in case you like this video, please again do not forget to give me a like and share this video with all your friends and families because I think if you are in this uh, you know, internet world, it is a probable reason that you need to be aware of these certain things. Now there are three videos that are popping up right now on your screen. Please make sure that you watch them till the end. Till the next time, bye-bye.